Hey, what's up, what's up, y'all? It's been a minute. So a lot has happened since I decided to take my hiatus with no social media for the next 90 days. So let's go back to when I started. I made the decision on September 17th, it was a Friday, to deactivate my, well, I haven't deactivated, basically no Instagram, no Facebook, no Twitter, no TikTok, none of that. The only place I'll be is right here on YouTube. But why? Can't scroll, can't really consume any content. I mean, you can, but it's more so, this is now just my platform to share my journey and to share my story. And why did I do it? One, pregnancy. My whole life has changed since having a baby. I feel a lot more energy today because I'm in a better place. Today is actually October 19th, it's Tuesday. And so since, it's been a month now, and the reason why I chose to do it is because I really felt like I was losing myself. I didn't know who I was. And when I, when I say, I think when women say they, they're losing themselves, it's like your whole life changes. I went from a really type A go-getter individual where everything was organized. I had my day planned out, was exercising regularly. It was just really about me. And then you have a whole new human little being where they take all of your intention. Oh, and I'll talk about this in a little bit. I take all of your attention and you get no sleep. I'm still not sleeping through the night and it's, he's only about to be four months and I know I'm not gonna be sleeping through the night anytime soon. So mothers, be prepared for no sleep. And if you have a husband who's really not on top of it, which Aaron, he's amazing, but women just don't have the expectation your husband's gonna be you because he's not or your man's gonna be you because he's not. Or those mothers who are single out there, you know, I, I, can, feel, I, can, I feel for you. But at the end of the day, you're gonna do most of the work. Not only, if you're breastfeeding, not only are you feeding the baby, you're caring for the baby, you're changing the baby, you're up with the baby, you're nursing and caring for the baby. Did I say that already? Yes, breastfeeding um, is like a full-time job. You're probably cleaning, you're doing the laundry, you're managing the household and the expenses, and you're doing grocery shopping, you're also cooking dinner. And did I say you're cleaning and doing laundry? Basically, you're doing everything. Fin finally, I was like, I, can't do this. I mean, I can, I am doing it, but I needed a break. And so we put a Dale in daycare, which has been a godsend, but also he's been getting sick. I recently just came, got over being sick. And so he, 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 but I know it's also necessary to boost his immune system. Coming back to daycare. So it was definitely necessary because I didn't have any time for myself and me being the fitness guru person that I am, Exercise is my way of having sanity. And so now I've been able to get back in the gym and have time for myself. So I'm doing cardio, I'm doing lifting, and this is just some of my routine. You know, I'm making sure that I'm doing at least two days of cardio and I'm doing at least three days of strength training. It doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes I only get two, three days where it's like two days are strength training, focusing on a lower body and an upper body. Then there's a cardio day. I also had diastasis recti, which I think is healed because I'm gonna just go ahead and start doing abs. I did a self test on, my, on myself and I felt like it's getting stronger. Before I was just doing the diastasis recti exercises, which if you know my background, I really like intense exercises and it was really boring, but I know it was necessary for my recovery. Also, Adele had his first pictures at school. I like to call daycare school, even though it's not school, because technically he's socializing, he's learning. So in a way, he's going to school, if you ask me. And I call him my little scholar, but he had these pictures, and isn't he so adorable? His little outfit, he's just growing up so fast. We also had taken some time for a family day. We went to the fair. Um, Aaron uh, made some, has made dinner. He's and he's really stepped up a lot. It's been, it's really been amazing, and just setting this time and attention for myself without social media. Going back to social media, you mothers know you're waking up around three a.m. You're breastfeeding. You're consoling your child, and what am I doing? I'm scrolling, and while I'm scrolling, I'm feeling this lack, like I'm I'm comparing myself to other mothers who seem to be doing it. But at the end of the day, I realized social media is all just a figment of what people want you to see. And I just started feeling this, like I'm getting behind because social media is part of my business and I wasn't producing any content. 
and I'm looking at people who are producing. I'm like, how are these mothers doing this? How are you creating content and editing videos and doing all these things? But I realized I probably have a team and I just need to boost on myself and not have these insane expectations. Don't compare myself to what other people are doing. And you know, I have my own journey. I have my own family. I have my own things going on. And within the past month, like I said, I started meditating more and that's really helped a lot. I've set my intentions for the day. I have a more of a routine. I've made mom friends. Yes, I've made mom friends. So there's this really cool app called Peanut where I've been connecting with other moms and I made a really awesome friend. Her name's Christina and her son is five days older than Adele. And we've been hanging out a lot and just really bonding. We started Bible study every Wednesday and that is going amazing because one of the intentions I wanted to do was increase and develop a better relationship with God. And now that is happening. So Christina, thank you. I love you, sis. You you are really, I feel like this relationship is just going to continue to grow and our kids are going to grow up to be best friends. So I appreciate you and the bond and connection and relationship that we now have that I know, again, will grow. And um, it's just, yeah, it's just different. Like you realize your circle of friends will change. You know, my friends don't have any kids, so they don't get what I'm going through. But when you connect with other moms who are going through what you're going through, it's like, oh, this is amazing. Not only that, uh, this is going to allow me to give me time to write my book about motherhood. All the things that they really don't tell you. I read all these books preparing for Adele and nothing really talked about after. Like the postpartum blues are real. Nobody really talks about that. Along with some other things that are all going to be in my book. So stay tuned with that. I'm also going to start a blog. I haven't really started it yet, but it's going to be called, well, you'll see because I want to get it started first. Uh, but that's going to be on my website, dlross.com. It's going to transition from all fitness to more health, uh, mom life, and business. And this past week, I finally started work again. So now I'm working again. I'm getting back in the business. We have a launch coming up on Monday. Super excited about that. So it's just all these things are starting to happen. It's like my life is transitioning into a new normal for myself with my new life as a mother, as a wife, as a sister and a best friend. And then sadly, I had gone to the doctors and I don't know how many women, I'm gonna reach just an edit below, but carpal tunnel, trigger finger, and nerve damage all from pregnancy. Who knew that, well, I knew the baby took a lot of my nutrition, but I didn't know I was going to have to have surgery. So I just found out actually today that I'm going to have to have surgery on my elbow to help relieve some nerves here, on my um, hand right here, and on my thumb. This There's been so much pain within this hand. Uh, it started in August. It was actually more so this hand, and it's relocated to this hand. And uh, it, it, it hurts. This is an ice pack. I'm always wearing a brace now. My only concern is having to pick up Adele uh, for two weeks. But I'm going to figure it out. And we're going to get better, and we're going to get through this. The other downside is no lifting for two weeks or more. I can still do cardio. So uh, exercise is going to kind of diminish and decrease, but that's okay. Long story short, uh, you know, this social media hiatus has been really good for my mental health and my mental psyche and my well-being and me sharing the, my journey with you. I do, you know, kind of miss interacting in, with all my people and my tribe. And I hope all of you guys are doing amazing and you're killing it, but I'll be back in the new year. So until then, you can continue to catch me here on my YouTube channel. Uh, make, sure, make sure to subscribe if you haven't watched my birth video where I literally share you the natural birth process, the non-medicated birth. Make sure to click here. And then I also shared how was I able to do that. And at the end of the day, it comes down to three main things. You having no stress and taking the time to focus on your breathing and meditation was a really a game changer because the less stressed you are and the healthier you are, the healthier pregnancy and your birth experience will be along with nutrition is really key throughout your pregnancy and exercise. So even if you're not a heavy lifter or anything like that, just getting out there and doing some cardio, you know, doing some light weights, making sure, you know, because now it's not about you. It's about you and your little being that you're growing in your belly. And I'm going to share a lot of that too within my book. So stay tuned for that. I'll keep you updated. But you know, I love all you guys. Again, thank you for supporting me on this journey. 
and continue to stay tuned for updates.